Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Well, unlike Guile's Path, this time we have four of us to, uh, deal with these shadow cats. Come on, Nikki, Pozo, we can take him! Voyage? I thought it was an expedition, but, uh, or we could just hold her hostage. Yeah, yeah, that'll work too. It's kind of odd that they would have, well, Kid do that. She doesn't, I mean, I guess she wants to save her life, but I don't know. It doesn't seem in her nature to hold someone hostage, you know? I don't know, but, uh, better watch out for Postal, though. I can't control her, you know? I mean, I just, you know, I mean, look at the way she talks. I mean, if I could get her to change that, I would, well, no, nah, I actually probably wouldn't. It's entertaining. I like her accent. Sorry, this episode's going to probably be mostly the same as the one in Guile's Path. Except, uh... Uh, well, I'm just going to go through the dialogue rather quickly here. Uh, if you really want to read it, uh, well, either pause the video or watch the one on Guile's Path. Yeah, just snarl at them, Postal. <laughs> I like that little noise Postal makes when... He she is, uh, walking around. Bong? Bong? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I would, ha how I could really handle this otherwise. Um, you know, because I'm basically doing the same part over again. W between the two paths. I mean, I thought that there was enough that was different in Viper Manor that it wasn't, you know, and I tried to skip over as many of the repetitive parts as I could, but, uh, well, I mean, I don't know how else I could have really done it, but, well, if you want to, uh, if you got a suggestion, let me know how I can handle it in the future, because, uh, it does not end here! Nuts. Okay, maybe it does end here for Kid. Come on, animate the sword being thrown at her. Nah, nah, that's okay. I think it's more effective that way, actually. Because you can tell what happened. I mean, you can tell he threw a sword at her. What do you mean, what am I willing to die for? For, for a girl I hardly met? I mean, Hat Chrono did that in the first game. I like the heartbeat they got going here. A Chrono Trigger? What do you mean I'm the Chrono Trigger? I'm an egg? Or not. No! What the? What is, uh... What's Korcha doing here? I didn't take Guile's path. Yeah, just doggy paddle there, uh, Pulsho. That's great. Yeah, yeah, Korcha's here anyway. I don't know, maybe Guile took this path to steal something even though he wasn't in my party. Okay, so what I want to do now is remove my, uh... My, all my accessories, remove the weapons and armor from Pulsal and Nikki, just equip the, like, ivory equipment or whatever, remove everyone's elements, and I'll take care of that off screen and be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go, so let's get out of here then. I just figured, you know, this is a good opportunity to uh, remove our equipment and stuff, because we can switch parties, and that way I don't have to worry about removing all of it later, because, well, it's just more complicated that way. Well, who are you? Uh, thanks for rescuing me, I guess, or holding me up while I was here. We could go upstairs and downstairs, but, uh, eh, don't worry about it. We'll explore this place later, wherever we are. Kind of a nice-looking place. Got a nice view here. Yeah, I'm just going to go through the dialogue rather quickly. Oh, Korcha decided to save us after all, even though we didn't, uh pay him or anything. Huh. Were you, I wonder if he was taking Guile there. I don't think he does. Even though we weren't on uh, this path, but, uh, or on his path here, but, uh, uh, you're already on the ground, kid. Oh, her expression does kind of change on her face. I was wondering about that. I wish they did that a little more, uh, dramatically, you know, because like, I can barely tell the difference whether she's happy or content or angry. 
You know, I mean, they, they could have shown a little more emotion on the face there. Why are you smiling? She's dying. Oh, she got uh, poisoned by Hydra Venom. Oh, okay. I like how this uh, part kind of plays out here now. It gives us a, you know, a little more motivation uh, to continue on in the plot. That, that is the only thing about the Chrono game, both Chrono games really. Motivation, the, the motivation of the, of the characters in, in all the games, I mean, except for maybe Frog, you know, in the first game, it's like, and the motivation just doesn't seem to be there. I mean, you know, it's like, well, Lavos is going to destroy the planet a thousand years from now. What do I care? I mean, what are we, good Samaritans? I mean, there's still some of the best games of all time, and I don't really put a whole lot of stock and character development and plot in my video games. But still, you know... I play RPGs for the mechanics more so than I care about the plot and everything. Battle mechanics make the game. I mean, graphics and music are nice, too. Well, screw her! What did she ever do for me? I never let her into my party in this path. Yeah, you, uh, get out of here, Korcha. Yeah, one thing I'm gonna try and do on this path more, someone was suggesting this. Oh yeah, there's Harley. I'm gonna try and, in Guile's path, more so react to the plot, whereas on Nikki's path, I'm going to try and um, comment about the plot, or how I think the plot is progressing, or what are my thoughts uh, on how they handled certain scenes. So that way, even if a scene is somewhat repetitive, and I can't avoid it, at least that way I can, you know, make the, the monologue uh, well, different, you know. So I'm going to try and do that some more. I was trying to do that in Viper Manor, but, uh, well, I guess I wasn't really thinking about it as much. Why does Harley, like, hate everyone except me? You know? I mean, what makes me so attractive? I mean, how am I ever supposed to talk to you or tell you that I love you? What, with sign language? Oh, yeah, she's just spying on us for lengths to make sure that... Is Kid dying there? Okay, yeah, good. Be done with it. Well, she's a tomb. What do you expect, Korcha? Well, what does she want to talk to me for? I treated her like a jerk this whole time. I'm just gonna talk to Pulse, we'll see what she says. Poshushu! Okay, yeah, yeah, let's talk to Kid. We can talk to the others, but uh, let's just get on with it. Oh, well, thanks for the gift. Merry Christmas! Yep, that sounds like a plan. But what's with that amulet anyway? What's that gonna do for us? Okay, so we gotta, uh, well, we gotta get a Hydra Humor to save Kid, but they're all extinct. So what are we gonna do now? Which path will I take? Well, at this point, we have another scenario choice. You can choose to try and save Kid or not, and the game will progress differently depending on which path you take. On Nikki's path, I would strongly suggest choosing to save Kid. Either path will um, allow you to travel to different areas earlier in the game than on the other path. And you'll recruit three different party members than you would have on the other path. Uh, the other three will be lost forever uh, until you do a new game plus. So um, what I'm, the reason why I want to uh, save kid on this path, or at least try to, is because it'll un be allow me to unlock uh, a hidden ending, or a secret ending, just like Chrono Trigger. Um, uh, well, this will allow me to unlock an ending with Nikki and one of the other party members that we can recruit by choosing to save kid. With uh, Pierre or Guile's path, 
it doesn't matter which one you take. Uh, you won't be able to get that ending anyway. But for the purposes of this LP, on Guile's Path, I'm going to choose not to save Kid. So there you are. Alright, well, Quartz is going to lend us his boat, but uh, we also need to see the uh, shaman here, I guess, to kind of figure out where we're supposed to go next. Whoa! Oh, no, it's just a cat. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's not going to try and bite your face off, Serge. So how are we going to get a Hydra humor for Kid anyway? All the Hydras are extinct in this world. Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.